and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Loud Munchies. I can confirm we're not in Leicester anymore, we're back in Birmingham. If you pan just over there, we are not too far from the university I graduated in, uh, Aston University. On social media, it's all going up again. And Burgery, how do you say it? Burgery. Burgery. Um, so, looking forward to a nice, juicy burger some sides to go with it. I've heard nothing but good about this place. Mazel, speak over it. What's so, what's so good about this place? It's uh, nice and juicy. It's nice and juicy. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the restaurant. So guys, we've just come to uh, the restaurant and straight away they went in alignment with the COVID-19 uh, kind of guidelines. So as you can see me, there's like a little, uh, Little, can you see that like little covering there so it segregates uh, your table from the next table first impression honestly it's quite it's quite funky in here it's got a lot of bright colors a lot of uh, neon lights but you know the standard wings that the girls come and take their Instagram pictures with but um, I've also bumped into an old friend from uni and he actually works here and he's recommended a few burgers for myself sounds like it's gonna be like a very promising evening uh, he also mentioned there's always two, there's two patties that come in the burger and they're smashed to really extract the flavors from the meat uh, gosh my mouth is watering just speaking about it so we're just waiting for two more mates and then um, we'll uh, we'll order very very soon so can I get uh, one classic burger yeah. as a meal one Atlantic fish burger just on its own what would you recommend for like uh, wings what flavor would be the best one? Yeah, kind of barbecue barbecue do you like barbecue yeah, I like barbecue is that do nice hot barbecue wings if you want that be I'll try it yeah I'll try that then you know with your classic burger meal do you want normal fries or sweet potato fries I'll uh, just get the normal fries yeah I'll, I'll just upgrade it to a tango ice bath yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So a quick breakdown of what I've got. I've got spicy, uh, spicy barbecue wings. Um, these two, I believe, are the burgers. So one's Atlantic, and one might be the uh, classic. And they come with the rustic fries that are just there. There you are, and a few sauces here over there. What have you ordered? The double double. The double double, which consists of maybe four packets, I believe. Oh God, look at that. Oh yes, carry on. Just let me see what's in between the layers. And you've got it with the fries, have you? Yes, sir. How lovely. Okay, so right now, if I get a little zoom in, you have got one patty there, two patty. Is it four patties? Four patties. Ah, uh, look all smash patties. That looks super juicy. Enjoy, my brother. So, what's that called? It's called the full house. The full house, which consists of. Two beef patties. Two beef patties. Turkey rasha. Turkey rasha. And uh, chicken breast. Can, uh, can you sh shift it over here? Oh, look at that. Let me have a little zoom in there. It's by the chicken. Yeah, that's a chicken? Yeah, at the bottom, that's a chicken. Chicken, uh, beef, and then turkey rasha, and then topped off with another uh, patty. Lovely, enjoy. A oh, quick breakdown of uh, the classic burger. You've got the sesame bun. Uh, looks lovely on the top. Then you've got... A smash patty over there, and then a layer of cheese, another smash patty. You know how your parents like, and you know, then <coughs> you've got some red onion, onion so some lettuce for a crunch. Like, do and then if I go on to the so Atlantic, so you've so got, so I'm not sure what sauce that is there, you've got the you've got a deep fried fish patty, almost like the McDonald's fish fillet. You've got these nice, thick, rustic uh, chips that come with uh, a few sauces over there. And then you've got finally the barbecue, um, spicy barbecue wings. So I can't wait to try this. I'm just gonna try a chip now with the Algerian sauce. <laughs> Lovely. Crispy, fluffy inside. Amazing chips, top marks and chips. So next, I'm gonna move on to a very, very saucy barbecue, spicy barbecue uh, wing. So here we go, Bismillah. The, the wings are top mark, amazing. Love the sauce, spicy, barbecue, exactly what they say. A bit more on the spicy side, but really, really good. Moving on to the burger now, the classic. The thing with uh, smashed burgers is when they smash it, it kind of extracts all the juices and you really can taste it. 
Christmas. The Atlantic Burger. Yeah. That's all it. The fish is flaky. The breadcrumbs uh, has a lot of flavour to it. That's a very good fillet fish. So guys, I'm here at Burgerite. Is that how you pronounce it? Burgery. Burgery, sorry. I'm here at Burgery and I'm here first of all with the owner. So thank you for having us here. I thoroughly enjoyed my meal, loved everything that you guys provided from a service perspective. I have a few questions. A little segment I do at the end of my videos is ask the owner uh, what was his main or hers main inspiration of opening an establishment like this restaurant? So basically in Birmingham we've not really got the options of high quality smash burgers so you want to create something that's a bit different mm -hmm. for everyone and you've seen the, the results of that. What would you say are your best sellers? Um, it's a classic. The classic. Why it's called the classic. So the one that I had it was uh, two smash patties? So double smash patties with a house salad and our own burger sauce. Nice. What was the inspiration behind uh, uh, the names actually of uh, all the uh, burgers? Of the burgers, um, you didn't want anything that's gimmicky, just classic is South mm -hmm. Everyone knows when they try it, what to expect, mm -hmm. so uh, it's been good. Who would you say are your main demographic? Uh, so we're lucky to be right by Aston University, so students are our main demographic, but okay. foodies like yourself as well are, yeah. the, are the ones that we target as well. How has COVID-19, the whole coronavirus outbreak, uh, you know, the kind of, uh, that kind of pandemic we've been in, how has that affected your business? Uh, of course it's affected it, but um, people still have to eat, so a lot of people do still come out, with all the takeaways, Uber deliveries, so it's not been too bad, it's been okay. And how have you acted, because uh, I can see you put little barriers here, little uh, yeah. barriers that have... So for social distancing, we've got the uh, perspex in place, and uh, sanitization that we do in the okay. store. So we've been trying to follow as best as we can. From a longevity perspective, yeah. what is your goal for this restaurant? Consistency. Consistency. Just keep the quality of food that you had today for everyone. Lovely. So it stays the same. Personal note for myself, thank you for having us no and the boys. Uh, we enjoyed our meal and hopefully back, be back here very soon. We just finished off the meal at Burger Burgery. Uh, it was a very pleasant experience. We had a little chat with the owner just uh, after we ate. Lovely guy. He gave us a deeper insight of what the inspiration was behind the restaurant. Uh, quickly breaking down the scores for food it is not the best burger i've had but it's still a very good burger for me the portion sizes were slightly small the burger itself the meat of the juices uh the seasoning around the fish burger was really good uh, i'm gonna score a very respectable 3.5 out of 5. service i'm gonna give them a strong 4 out of 5. it was not it wasn't that busy but they were very attentive if i move on to cleanliness uh, bearing in mind they've, uh, they're in alignment with the COVID-19 rules so I'm gonna give them again strong 4 out of 5 they put the little barrier up they didn't have to but they did uh, it just shows they're going the extra mile above and beyond to make your dining experience safe as well as uh, enjoyable we move on to seating arrangements it's actually a pub they've got like a renovated pub what that's the kind of theme they were going for neon lights the theme was very relaxed a lot of wooden elements uh, were in there with the seating, the benches. I'm gonna give the seating four out of five. Price, however, is a big letdown. I paid 17 pounds for fairly two medium-sized burgers, some wings, uh, and fries, and a tango blast. Sorry, rustic chips and a tango blast. Nevertheless, I'm gonna score this overall a 3.5 out of five. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.